All right, we're going to look at creating a title for this sequence. Now that we've got this little black and white intro, I want to put a title on this. Or maybe not a title yet. Maybe what I want to really do is put like the actor's name. That'd probably be a good start. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is, if this edit was totally finished, um, maybe I would create a new version of this. And you could do that by right-clicking and then hitting duplicate and so we could put uh, Red Rider titles and we could open that up uh, shortcut once you have these open you can actually jump between anything that you have open you could go to your montage and open your montage um, go back to your titles and so that's a, a quick way to jump between um, different timelines so we're on our titles now, and one thing that you want to do is create a graphics folder to hold the title in when you're done. So go ahead and create that, a new bin to hold your graphics, and then we're going to go up into Tools, and we're going to click on the Title Tool application. And we're going to do a basic uh, title on here, so we're going to hit the Title Tool, not the Marquee. And what happens is it will bring up the title tool and it will show whatever frame your playhead's parked on. So if you choose a different place, you just have to click on this to refresh it. We're going to start on this black and white clip. This is where we want it. So we'll update that. So um, to start, what you need to do is uh, click on your text tool and then click in. The window and I'm going to type the actor's name. His name is Ryson Sparacino. Oops. Okay. So once you have that, you can click on it and you'll see eight little um, nodes appear that, of course, you can use to adjust it um, if you wanted it to. Just the kerning, you can do it that way. And there we have our basic title credit. And we can go and change, once it's in the object mode, we can change the size. If we wanted that larger, we could do that, but I'm going to stick with 48. I like that. And I'll spread this back out and you can actually go up here into these you'll see that a new um, program is opened up to have a title tool you can go up to alignment and you could center in the frame horizontally to make sure it's in the center of the frame another thing that you can do is you can change these values here so if we go into the fill value, we could actually change this to whatever color we want. And if you wanted to actually fade into another color, you go into the secondary box. It's a blend and transparency preview, and we could go into any other color that we, we want, and it would blend down into that. So. Once we have that, we can actually go here in this box and change the direction. I actually want the black on the bottom. And also, another thing is we can go into the opacity settings and we can change those as well. There'll be one end here, and you can see the other end down there if we wanted to do that. So you can go down here and change the directionality again like you did before. And the last main thing that you should always do with the title is put an outline around it and you can do that with the border width tool. You can put an outline around that as thick as we want. And that's how you do a basic title.
So we'll continue in the next video to do a little bit more with this.